Jeanette Chung, and welcome to New Hive Tonight, a new program that explores bees who aren't satisfied with their seemingly preordained lot in life, and now struggle to change their fortunes. The reason this is a new program, of course, is because, well, no bee has ever really done it before. Until now, tonight, the bee who brought the insect and human worlds together, he's touched our hearts and our venom bladders, Barry B. Benson. Thanks for having me. You know, you're shorter in person than you look on TV. I'm told the camera adds five millimeters. Barry, your face is everywhere. T-shirts, posters, books. Your mug is on a mug, for bee's sake. There's even a video game. I hadn't heard about the video game. It's both challenging and entertaining. So tell us, where did your hero's journey begin? Well, as you know, Jeanette, aside from having to break your way out of a wax cocoon at birth, college is one of the most challenging times in a young bee's life. Yes, I remember. I went to BU. Oh, yeah, me too. Well, well, it really is the only school. Go, Go BU. BU. Anyway, Jeanette, it all started for me the day after graduation. I was really trying to figure things out. I see. Take us back, Barry, to that first day. Roll it, Hal. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Gotta go. What? No breakfast? No, thanks. I don't want to be late. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. My boy is going to work at Hunnex. Wait till the girls at the nail place hear my Barry graduated BU with straight B's. None of their sons graduated with straight B's. Now go down there, son, and show them you're a Benson. Don't do that! Your father didn't leave on good terms! Oh, for the millionth time, <sighs> Janet, I did not steal those post-its. Bye, guys. Oh, Martin, will you stop it? What do I need with boxes and boxes of post-its? Hi, Barry. Before we face the challenges of our new lives after graduation, we've got to get a couple of things straight first. Now jump. Now see if you can hover. Now look at the mini-map on the lower right of the screen. It shows you the whole area where you are. These markers will show you the places of interest. Very important. Remember, though, I'm still waiting for you over at Hunnex. Check your mini-map if you get lost. Like now, for instance. I'm already waiting for you at the Hunnex entrance. See? If you want to get there faster, go to the next car and ride it up here. Looking for a new You can get into all of the cars in New Hive City. Barry, um, over, over here. Barry, uh, here, Barry. Hi, Adam. I'll tell you, I am excited. Think about it. It's our first day of work. We're about to embark on the next stage of life. Which leaves us only one stage away from death. We're a two-stage species, you know. Just give it a chance. Who knows? You might like it. That's what you said about B. Pilates. I still can't extend this arm all the way out. Sorry, pal, but nothing you say can bring me down today. Welcome to Hunnix, making honey the same tried and true way our ancestors did for the last five million years. Honey is brewed here 24-7, 365 days a year. What about leap year? Every four years, on February 29th, all workers are treated to a free spa day, followed by a concert in the park. Wow, really? No, just kidding. We make honey that day, too. Oh.
This is my stop. I'll catch you after my shift. Remember, the shift makes the man. You know, that's not really an expression. Oh, never mind. Attention, citizen. Do you want excitement? Do you want adventure? Do you want to serve your hive? A new job station has just been installed in your neighborhood. Come and see another quality product brought to you by Hunix, the Hunix Corporation, a division of Hunix. Attention, a new Hunix job station has just been installed in your neighborhood. Come by any time. At Hunix, we use only the freshest ingredients to make our honey. And now you can help make it even better. Just pick up the freshly steamed honeycombs for processing. It's not easy, but quality never is. Check it out. Are you good enough to join our team? We've got honeycombs to collect, and you've still got a job to do. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Listen up, operating the tube is easy. Use the directional keys to move it left and right. Align yourself to grab the honeycombs that are falling down from the waffle iron above. One thing though, some of them will be burnt and we don't like that, so let them go. That pretty much covers it. Yes to shiny, no to crispy. Pay attention. Fill the quota and Hunnix will reward you. Do you want me to repeat my instructions? Got it now! That's the idea! Excellent work! Every win brings us closer! Hello? Hi! Who is this? It's Adam! Oh, hey! How'd you not know it was me? Don't you have caller ID? Nah, I don't want some guy messing with my antenna. It's unnatural. Anyway, I'm done for the day. Want to share a cab home? I can. I volunteer to work a double shift. Really? Wow. Good for you, Barry. And on your first day, what initiative. You're really trying to make a good first impression, which I think is fantastic. You were being sarcastic, weren't you? Yes, I'll see you at the cab stand in five minutes. Our research and development department has broken the quota barrier with the invention of the Krellman, now allowing us to reclaim all the strands of gold and honey that are normally lost in the process of refinement. The what a great first day! I can't imagine anyone having a better first day of work. I can. What is with you? Can't you enjoy this just a little? What's to enjoy? I mean, it's not like a surprise opportunity here. Ever since I was a larva, the only thing I've heard about is honey every minute of the day. It's honey this and honey that. Honey, honey, honey. Everything is honey. 
Well, there's also wax, but mostly it's honey. What are you saying? I just have to believe there's more to life than making honey. Barry, we're bees. Bees make honey. That's what we do. Spiders spin webs. Silkworms weave silk. Snails. Uh, well, I don't know what they do, but you know what I'm saying. My point is, Barry, I, I just think you need to go with the flow, you know? Flow? What flow? There's no flow here. Oh, there's flow. Uh, taxi! So, you coming? Um, you go. I'll catch up later. Attention, citizen! A new cab-driving job trial station has just been delivered to your neighborhood, you lucky bee! Driving this beautiful twin-turbo engine late-model cab, you'll leave your old job in the dust and get the chance to pick up customers all over New Hive City. You'll need quick reflexes and a sharp eye for directions to really clean up at this job, but if you measure up, the sky is the limit, my friend. Please complete the training certification to take advantage of this wonderful career opportunity. Just to let you know, you've got a taxi job still outstanding. Excellent! You won't regret this! Woo! Okay, pal, you know how to handle a set of hot wheels, don't you? Good! Then you won't get lost. Follow the on-screen prompts for driving controls. I'll tell you where to go, don't you worry about that. But you've got to be on time. That timer over there is all you need to worry about. Remember, spare time means spare change. The swift earn the sweet taste of reward, so hustle up. Meanwhile, you may find that you have more than one fare to deal with at a time. That's a good problem to have, friend. You'll just have to deal with it. Do you want me to repeat my instructions? Oh, thank you for coming. Is it too much to ask for you to stay on the road? Your company will be getting my letter of complaint. Oh, just as soon as the dizziness wears off. Uh, are you trying to run me down? Bingo! Great job! Attention, citizens! A new race driving trial station has just been delivered to your neighborhood, you lucky me! Attention, citizens of New Hive City. Tired of that same old job? Explore a golden land of opportunity and adventure. Supercharge your life on a heady mix of honey and adrenaline when you get behind the wheel of this mean machine. The Stingray comes outfitted with an arsenal of power-ups and clever tricks that'll give you a much-needed edge in the races you take. But better than the winner's circle on that last checkered flag, you'll also be the proud owner of the Super Stinger 3000, which you can race as a pro anytime to build your fortune. Hey, citizen, you've got a race to finish. On to adventure! It's time for some straight-up action. One path, one destination. Follow the waypoints from point A to point B, and that'll do it. 
Now, may I remind you that mercy is seldom found on the racetrack? It's not only a matter of brain, but also a matter of brawn. Power-ups you can use to your advantage are scattered along the way. The ones you pick up will be displayed at the top right corner of your screen. I suggest you get them, or someone else will. To use the power-up you've picked, use the key displayed on the screen. They have multiple effects, so learn how to use them. Now remember, there's only one way to win a race, and that's to finish first. Now prepare to eat wax dust. Blast off! Ho oh, ho! What a move! That was a gutsy move! You show a lot of promise. Operations to level one. Hello. I'm here with Barry B. Benson. You know, that was amazing, Jeanette. It was really almost like being there. Well, we are broadcast in BHD. It has twice the stripes of BTV. Wow, twice the stripes. Now, Barry, just to give our viewers some background, had you ever been outside the hive before? Oh, no. So what happened? What led you to that first day outside? Well, Jeanette, there comes a time in every bee's life when he has to ask himself what he's made of. Is there something more? So you had an itch? Well, I'm not sure it was an itch exactly. There was definitely some tingling, bordering on a Jones, but a little short of a yen. A Jones. A Jones led you to risk it all to fly with the pollen jocks? Jones, Yen. Because you know, I'd heard this all started as a dare. Really? A dare? Hmm. You know, why don't I tell your viewers a little bit about the outside? Please, tell us what you saw that first day. It's been said that just a mere sight of the outside can drive a bee mad. Oh, that's just an old wasp's tale. But it is big and loud. And, well, there is danger around every corner. And don't get me started on the rain. Did you say rain? Pouring rain, crazy rain, and wild animals, and humongous cars, and humans. Humans as far as the eye can see. But other than that, well, let me show you. Uh, Hal, can you roll that? Thanks. You know, I'm going with there. Really? Why? It's in my notes. Oh. Listen up, boys. We got ourselves a doozy of a mission, and it needs to be completed ASAP! Oh, I see recruiting standards are getting more lax every day. What's your name, Bug Juice? Barry B. Benson, sir. No, uh, he's with us, Lou. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, let's go over the basics one more time. We got a rain advisory today, and no matter what some of you hotshots might think, bees cannot fly in the rain! As always, remember, dogs, birds, frogs, hockey sticks, tennis rackets, brooms, and rolled-up magazines are not your friends! Oh, and absolutely no talking to humans! Make me proud, boys! Oh, nose petunias, you striped stem suckers! All of you drain those flowers! Launch! Launch! Look, I'm a B-17. Sweet. Oh. Watch out for the kites, boys. Judging from the winds, I suggest we use the snake maneuver to get underneath them. It's time for some ground level recon. This is 
Echo Delta Niner Victor Golf Foxtrot Bravo Zulu Alpha Niner. Niner. These military names are too hard to remember. No bridge. Ow! Ow! ow. No bridge. Take ourselves a little shortcut through the park. Watch out for frogs, boys. Those tongues are a first-class ticket to Lunchville. And we're Percy the Riveter. Get ahead. Okay, we got us a jumper. Watch out. Take your base of action. Watch the wing. Rendezvous on the far side of the pond. Go, go, go. Aha! Wow, what a view! Pathetic. Are you kidding? It's so beautiful, it's like a movie. It doesn't look real. I meant you. You want to be a pollen jock? Then where's your pollinator? How are you going to collect the pollen, genius? Stuff it in your pockets? Oh, sorry. Do you know where I could get? There. Now you're a real bee. Wow, you know, it's heavier than it looks. If you do your job right, it's about to get a whole lot heavier. Oh, great. First, you gotta shop in your senses, Grasshopper. Grasshopper where? It's a figure of speech. See that flower with a sparkling pollen? Good! Now, extract that nice work. You can release the Use Pollinator button when all of the pollen is extracted. Now, just to be sure, extract more pollen from this flower. Then, switch to the Withered Flower at your... To rejuvenate Withered Flowers, lock on by holding the Lock On button. Now, use the pollen... Wow, you're a natural. Follow me. Now this is a picture-taking spot. You'll often come across one of these in your adventure. Uh, you brought your camera, right? Lock onto it by holding the lock on button. Try it on this one. Good. Now just wait for the camera to focus on the subject, then take a snapshot with the camera button. Do it. Great. Be sure to take a look at what you've unlocked in the museum once you get back to New Hive City. Now, I'd love to stand here and teach you all day, but we're kind of busy. Go get the flowers pollinated, mister. All right, you only have to press the accelerate button to fly forward and use the directional buttons to direct your flight. Remember, you can always press the dash button to dash. Uh, by the way, the radar can also be a great pollination tool. The yellow dots represent pollen-filled flowers, while the blue dots represent withered flowers. Yes, sir. This is too easy. Sweet nectar. Sweet nectar.
right. Ta-da! Yes! Yes! That's right. Beat. Already? You ain't seen nothing yet! We got trouble! Attention to all jocks! Dragonflies have entered the airspace! Come on, follow me! It's time for some action! Alright, you'll sometimes come across enemy resistance. Dragonflies, wasps, and hornets won't hesitate to interfere with our work. The good news is, they're allergic to pollen, and you got plenty in your pollinator. Use the right trigger to fire. You can lock on multiple targets at the same time. Try it! Good! By the way, you'll know you're in range to fire when your targets turn green. Be careful, though. Get too close, and they'll fire at you. You can always evade their projectiles by quickly changing directions, or by performing a barrel roll using the left barrel roll or right barrel roll buttons. One last thing before I let you go. We bees are equipped with a very neat feature called bee vision. It allows us to better see dying flowers and other things we can interact with. Press the bee vision button to activate it. See how dying flowers and enemies stand out from the rest? You can use this to your advantage. You'll find bee vision has other uses in due time. All right, that's enough for one day or your brain will explode. Go pollinate some more, rookie, and watch out for those nasty dragonflies. You're mine! Ow. Bad little bee. Ow. Poor little bee can't take it. Ow. Oh, sorry. Did that hurt? <laughs> You're mine! Sweet 
Nectar. Sweet. This is too easy. That's the way to do it. Sweet nectar. Never knew the wild blue yonder could be so exhausting. Gotta catch my breath. That looks like a good place to land. Very yellow. Ooh, soft landing. Careful, guys. It's a bit grabby. Hey, guys. I made it. Hey. New guy, watch it. You don't know what you're dealing with. Oh. Just gonna recharge the old engine here for a sec. Whew. This can. Ooh. Oh. Ow. Oh no, not the rain.
Okay, I've been informed of your situation, and boy, you've really done it. But look, I'm gonna help you out. Just focus and use your B reflexes. Remember, it's the B reflex button. See that awning over there? Now, listen carefully. Once you're all set, activate your B reflexes with the B reflex button and go! Hit it again to turn it off. You may have to wait for your senses to charge back up if you use it a lot. Go! Oh, and don't waste it in a safe zone. Okay, now get under that awning, pronto! Watch out! Still kicking, I see. Nice work, son. Now, if you want to get out of there ASAP, and I suggest you do, you can get a speed boost by using a wind current. See that over there? That's a wind current. Focus and get to it. Once inside, you'll be swept away fast. But watch out for water drops. Hey, that looks like a good place to rest. Ow! Oh. Use your B-reflex.
reflex. Oh. Use your B reflex. Watch out, kid! Find a spot, focus in, then go straight! Move it! the drain! Thank heaven. Stay away from the light! I repeat, do not go towards the light! Must go towards the light. Hey! That's not the light at the end of the tunnel! It's a supersonic train coming to run you down! Come on! Snap out of it, kid! Check out this militia! No more. I want to go home. Man, I thought caterpillars were hairy. They're not fake. They're synthetic. What's real is their sparkle. That and the money that you'll still have in your wallet by not shelling out for the real thing. They were developed by NASA for the astronauts' wives. And nobody can tell. I'll bet a jeweler can tell. What, what are you saying? You're a jeweler all of a sudden? No, Ken. I'm not saying I'm a jeweler. I gotta get out of here. What? Maybe this time. 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 That is diabolical. Oh, there's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I'll be right back. We're out of coffee. Anyone need anything? Only your speedy return, my love. I'm good. No, thanks. I'm fine. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. And if it falls out of the setting, they'll replace it for free for up to 17 months. 17? Wait, stop! B! Stand back! These are winter boots. These boots were made for stomping! All right, everyone spread out and search the perimeter. You, patrol the living room. You, dining room. You, jeweler. What? Ken, I told you, I'm not a... Whatever. You patrol the kitchen. Squash anything that has stripes. And remember, one sting from him could be deadly. Oh! You think you're safer there, kid? Luckily, most people are uneasy when confronted with our kind. In fact, most of the time, they'll just try to get rid of you. See that? It means you can get a human's attention. Press the lock on button to get in position. And remember what I said! Shake your bee thing! Spin around! Anything to fill the meter you see on your screen. That's their irritation level. Be careful, though. They might swat at you unexpectedly. 
All the inputs that will be given to you or else. Just do what I tell you and be a bee! Oh. Seventeen? Oh! Uh, what's the matter, B? Chicken! Jacket or like yellow jacket. <laughs> uh, get it? <laughs> nice try. Bumbles. Where is he? <laughs> Give up. Attention! Nice try. Bumbles. Better luck next time. Yellow jacket, or like yellow jacket. <laughs> uh, get it? Jacket, more like yellow jacket. <laughs> uh, get it?
Oh, gotcha. Come out wherever you are and be squashed. Meet the top of the food chain. Better luck next time. Ah! Nice try. Uh, what are you all doing in here? There's a bee in the apartment. Why won't you just cooperate and let me stop you? Ken, what are you doing? He's just a poor defenseless bee. Defenseless? It's a bee! You know I'm allergic. There you go, little guy. Barry, I know I and so many other intelligent, highly attractive bees like me want to know. What's the scoop on the humans? Well, as far as species go, they're decent enough. So you like humans? The one's not trying to turn you into bottom of boot soup. What about this woman, Vanessa? You seem to have formed a special bond with her. Is that your phone? Nope, I'm on vibrate. What the? Will you get me a new earpiece? We're live, people! Amateur hour's over! Antennae will roll! Where were we? Oh, right, Vanessa. Tell us about her, Barry. We're friends. Good friends. And we. Barry, there you are. What took you so long? You know the honey snacks you've come across outside the hive? Well, there's a bunch hidden in both Hunnex and New Hive City. Can you find them all? Attention! A new car mechanic job station has just been delivered to your neighborhood. Hello, citizen. If fashion is your passion, then please visit one of New Hive City's hip and cool virtual stores near you. Be who you want to be. Get a new outfit today. Hello, citizen. Got a vibe for a new ride? Looking for an exotic car to get your nectar flowing again? Then visit the car dealership today. And if you get the chance, check out the museum. I'd say that it's unforgettable, but I forgot what they have. But I do know that many new pieces of art are being delivered and that they are hidden away outside New Hive City right now. If you have your camera, you can take a picture of them while you're outside. Just... Attention! A new car mechanic job station has just been delivered to your neighborhood. For those of you who wish to relive the pain, please select the level you'd like to replay.
looking good. Are you nuts about nuts and bolts? Never get tired of tires? If so, we've got the perfect job for you at New Hive Auto Repair. And if you get the chance, check out the museum. I'd say that it's unforgettable, but I forgot what they have. But I do know that many new pieces of art are being delivered and that they are hidden away outside New Hive City right now. If you have your camera, you can take a picture of them while you're outside. Just follow the floating icons. Lock onto the icons and take a picture. Your new work of art will then be displayed here. Happy art hunting. Time may be honey, but the new game we have in the arcade... The museum. I've heard their collection is, well, not so great right now. But guess what? There are many hidden statues that you can find when you fly outside New Hive City, and they'll be delivered here. But the new game we have in the arcade is pure gold. The Arcade! This is where you'll have the chance to play state-of-the-art video games. To play, simply walk next to an available cabinet, pay the required amount of nectar drops to unlock it, and voila! Make sure to come back often as more games will become available in your adventure. A new car mechanic job station has just been delivered to your neighborhood. Time may be honey, but the new game we have in the arcade is pure gold. Hey, don't miss out. Check out the new jobs that have just come online.
There are millions of bees in New Hive City, and all of them have cars. Big cars, small cars, fast cars, slow cars, and someone has to fix them all. Well, that someone could be you. Get their wheels spinning again while earning cash from citizens who are eager to get rides back on the road. Sound good? Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Excellent. You won't regret this. Lots of cars will need fixing. Wax machines are not the sturdiest you can find, but hey, they're cheap. It's pretty simple if you ask me. Are you asking me? Anyway, you got your usual button prompt, single commands to fix small problems like loose wires and clogged tubes. For loose bolts, I'll lend you a wrench. Spin it with the directional keys and then move it. Sometimes you'll have to refill the oil tank. Keep an eye on the meter at the bottom right corner of your screen or you'll have to clean up that mess. Each shift you take will have a quota of cards that need fixing. But remember, the clock is ticking. Do you want me to repeat my instructions? Jobs, that's right, new jobs right here, right now. Take a look. Time may be honey, but the new game we have in the arcade is pure gold. <laughs> Operations to level one. Second ship, Rain Watchers, report to level one. Hurry, 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 come and see the new job postings. Some large, some small, but all, all are sure to thrill online now. Attention, new game in the arcade. Today marks the one billionth larva born today. There seems to be some confusion, though. The lucky boy or girl was either born at 7.53 a.m. and 6.10 seconds, or 7, 8, or 9. Good luck! You've got a taxi job on standby. On to adventure! Woo! Time's running out! Hurry! Any time now, Cabby! You know, with all the time you're wasting gabbing with me, we could have made several micrograms of honey. You know your way around the hive. Oh, thank you for coming. you to stay on the road?
awesome! Hey, citizen, you've got taxi jobs galore. Better see what you can finish. All right. Woo! This inspirational message brought to you by Honex. Time may be honey, but the new game we have in the arcade is pure gold. Catch on soon. Uh, what? Were you sleeping? Day, citizen. Whether you work in the factory or elsewhere in our peaceful and purposeful hive society, we want you to know that Hunnex is with you. This message brought to you by Hunnex. And we've got a brand new game in the arcade, courtesy of Hunnex. drive okay. Anyone ever tell you that? Research and Development Department has broken the quota barrier with the invention of the Krellman, now allowing us to reclaim all the strands of golden honey that are normally lost in the process of refining the Krellman, another way that Honex makes life better.
Excellent job, citizen. You've still got some honeycombs to collect, citizen. Then off we go into a bold new career adventure. Job. How are Hi you? There. You've still got a hot date with a waffle iron and a tube, courtesy of Hunnex. You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. Got it now. That's it. Keep going. Good job. That'll help our quote. Stellar job! citizen. We here at Hunnex hope you enjoy your ride and that you have a pleasant and productive day. Check out the new game in the arcade! Attention citizens of New Hive City! Tired of that same old job? Explore a golden land of opportunity and adventure with Hunnex! Visit one of our new job kiosks today. Attention, we have a baseball in Sector 6. Stand by, Hive Repair Crews. The 
The Queen today addressed a company of pollen jocks, thanking them for their pollen gathering efforts. If you see one citizen, shake his hand. He's doing it for you. Mortgage, I'm telling you, you've got to take some responsibility. Stand up, be a mensch. What your father is saying, sweetheart. I don't need you to translate. I'm speaking to Queen Bee's English, aren't I? We only want what's best for you. No, we don't. We want you to get a job, get married, and move out. I love it here, Barry. It's really nice to just sit outside and hang out, you know? These aren't much for hanging out. We're a little more goal-oriented. Well, maybe hanging out should be your goal. Well, you probably don't have much time for that, being a florist. It hardly seems like work. I feel bad sometimes taking people's money for doing something I love. To spend my days surrounded by beauty. Well, this guy needs a touch-up. One touch-up coming up.
Oh, Barry, it's lovely out here now. This calls for something extra special. Attention, attention! Oh. All available units, the hive is under attack! Wasp forces are attacking! We need backup! I've got to go. Well, well, look who it is. Sorry to break up your little party, pal, but uh, we'll play with you. Get him, boys! This is way too easy! <laughs> Party's over for you! You better take off while you can, kids! Take cover! It's raining! Vanessa! Man, where are you? Oh, Barry, you are wonderful. You've really inspired me, Barry. Just watch! Vanessa, you're flying! You're really Ooh. flying! Vanessa! Oh. oh, it was a dream, a horrible, horrible, yet strangely adolescent dream. What a nightmare. Are you drawn to exciting career opportunities? Well, then, apply as an operator at the Magnetic Attention, attention! A delivery job station has just been delivered to your neighborhood. Come and see! Attention, New High City. Punnix has a job for you. In fact, we have all the... Are you drawn to exciting career opportunities? Well, then apply as an operator at... 
and the magnetic crane is humming. Attention, attention. A delivery job station has just been delivered to your neighborhood. Come and see. Food delivery is a fast and furious business, and your new Hive customers are always hungry for more. You'll be the talk of the town as you blaze new trails on your two-wheeled speeder. Keep your balance and the food off the road, and you'll drink in the rewards. Bon appetit! Don't forget about the delivery job you've already got on standby, ready to go whenever you are. Go, go, go! Don't worry about the scooter, kid. It drives as easy as any other vehicle. I'll tell you where to go when an order comes up. You can keep track of where you should be heading with the mini-map. Remember, time is also a factor here. To quote Marilyn Monroe, some like it hot. Would you like me to go over that again? You've got a racing job on standby. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Last off. He's in a tough scrape. That was a gutsy move. Yeah, ouch! Are you drawn to exciting career opportunities? Well... Hey, citizen, you've got a race to finish. Go, go! <laughs> now these can make your head spin. Lap races are just like single track challenges, except they loop. If you get passed by the same car twice, this means you ain't doing well. Full speed ahead. Oh, the suspense. That was a gutsy move. Great move! Right on! That's it! Are you drawn to exciting career opportunities? Well then, apply as an operator at the Magnetic Crane at Hunnix! Second shift brain watchers report to level one.
Apologize, dispatch to Central Quadrant. Are you drawn to exciting career opportunities? Well, then apply as an operator at the Magnetic Crane at Hunnex. We here at Hunnex want to wish you a productive day, citizen. Whether you work in the factory or elsewhere in our peaceful and purposeful hive society, we want you to know that Hunnex is with you. This message brought to you by Hunnex. Are you drawn to exciting career opportunities? Well, then apply as an operator at the Magnetic Crane at Hunnex. Nectar is a critical ingredient in honey making and vital to New Hive City. Be a part of the team that goes for the gold. Join up as a crane operator today and help us meet our quota. Another fine career opportunity brought to you by the Hunnix Corporation, a division of Hunesco. We've got nectar to collect and you've still got a job to do. Go, go! <laughs> Listen up! Operating the crane is easy. Use the directional keys to move it left or right. Align yourself to grab the canisters with the action button. We're on a tight schedule and traffic can get intense. Lose too many and you won't get your money. Do you want me to repeat my instructions? You've still got a hot date with a waffle iron and a tube, courtesy of Hunnex. Okay, you're ready to go. Help our quota. Yahoo! Every little bit helps.
Keep your eyes open. Yahoo! Every little bit helps. Keep your eyes open. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. That should get us closer to the quota. You've still got some honeycombs to collect, citizen. Okay, you're ready to go. You're doing great. You're getting the hang of it. Good job! That'll help our quota. Yeah, just keep it coming. Yahoo! Every little bit helps. Good job! That'll help our quota. Excellent work. Every win brings us closer. Hey, I'm walking here. a productive day, citizen. Whether you work in the factory or elsewhere in our peaceful and purposeful hive society, we want you to know that Hunnex is with you. This message brought to you by Hunnex. Time may be honey, but the new game we have in the arcade is pure gold. And we're back. Barry, tell us, how did you feel when you discovered the humans were stealing our honey? Um, hurt, betrayed, angry, gut punched, nervous, ambivalent, ticked off, peeved, really the gamut. You felt the gamut? A to Z? Uh, maybe not Z, at least W. When did you decide you were going to do something about it? I don't know if it was a conscious decision, instinct kind of took over. 
I became a warrior. I mean, these stingers aren't just for knitting mittens. What are mittens? Humans wear them on their hands when it's cold out. Did I mention how cold it is outside the hive? It's like a meat locker out there. Anyway, where was I? The honey. Right. Well, I had to find out where the humans were getting it. I had a lead, so I followed it, step by step, inch by inch, leaving no stone unturned. Well, isn't that more of an ant thing? It's a figure of speech. Just honey, huh? Who's your supplier? Ha <laughs> ha! Hungar! Prepare to feel the sting! <laughs> You can poke out an eye with that thing. Ow! Ah. Ouch! Watch you, you can poke out an eye with that thing. Watch you, you can poke out an eye with that thing. I hate sword fights. Better luck next time. I could beat you with my rapier wit. I could beat you with my rapier wit. Watch you can poke out an eye with that thing. I could beat you with my rapier wit. Watch you, you can poke out an eye with that thing.
Watch it, you can poke out an eye with that thing. Give up? Where does the honey come from? Where? Honey farms! It comes from honey farms! I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and the top of this! All of it! So good. Keep it up. Oh yeah. Good thing we bees are tough. Good thing we bees are tough.
Uh oh. Hmm, <laughs> <coughs> kind of a smoky flavor. <coughs> oh, where am I? I gotta quit smoking. I mean, getting smoked. Easy there, son. You're safe. Just take a deep breath. Uncle Howard and Fran, are they... Dead? <laughs> nah, still asleep. We're just early risers. Always have been. We're the Beemans. From uh, 217 next door. I'm Harry and this is Irene. We play cards with your aunt and uncle every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Wait, what happened here? Well, your uncle was trying to bluff with a pair of twos. No, I mean after that. So many questions. You know what you need? A nice warm glass of Hanala. Oh, sorry, sweetie. It looks like we're out. Out of honey? How can you be out of honey? Oh, it happens, Barry. We'll just make some more. That's what we do around here. We make honey. Then the mysterious white smoke comes. Knocks us all out. Uh, no disrespect, but don't you think it's kind of strange that someone knocks you out and steals all your honey? Excuse me, thanks. I really gotta go. We'll tell your aunt and uncle you stopped by. Come back any time, Barry. Don't be a stranger! Adam, come in, Adam. Can you hear me? The whole hive can hear you. Calm down. What's wrong? It's the humans, Adam. They're stealing our honey. What would humans want with honey? I don't know, but they want it, and they want a lot of it. You didn't get knocked on the head again, did you? I saw what I saw. The hives and the white smoke and Uncle Howard and Aunt Fran. I think you should get a CAT scan. I'm going to need to get proof. A few choice photos should convince Adam of the truth. That's one. Oh! Ow! I have to find more proof or Adam will never believe me. If a picture's worth a thousand words, this ought to say plenty. So this is where the white smoke comes from. That's the way to do it. Need more evidence. Gotta get more photos. Chalk up number four. One more ought to do it.
Say cheese. Smile. If that doesn't prove to Adam there's a swarm of wasps headed this way, I don't know what will. Wasp? Don't fire until you see the hexagonal patterns of her eyes! Whoa! What an unexpected but terrifying and possibly deadly development. That's it! No more Mr. Nice Guy! Pushing. Plenty of smoke for everyone. Move it, my pretties. Time to bring in the harvest. Smoke here. Get your smoke here. We shall return. You haven't seen the last of us. We have not yet begun to fight. Retreat! Who was that guy? He was like a crazed madman with that smoker. That's Freddy. He's the head beekeeper. Beekeeper? He keeps bees? He rules the apiary. Someone's got to take him down. We're with you. What's your plan? My plan? I, I meant someone else. Someone less put off by being smoked. But look around you. We need your help. It's just you and me, Smokey. Where there's smoke, there's Freddy. I love bees and smoke. Bees and smoke. The smoke Zarathustra. All right, fellas, I'm in. Go to sleep. Close your big hexagonal pattern eyes. Good. Nice try. Oh. 
tighten up! He's one tough hombre! Nice try. All right. Oh, hello, little birds. Hey, do you smell smoke? Huzzah! Hooray! Way to go, Barry! We showed him! Now it's time to show everyone else. Barry, you discovered the humans were stealing our honey, and you were brought before the Queen. Tell me, was she beautiful? Um, I guess. I was commanded to bow a lot, so I didn't really get a good look. I've always felt that if the Queen and I were ever able to meet socially, we would become the best of friends. Uh, sure, why not? So you'll introduce me? I, I, I'm not sure I'd really feel comfortable. I mean, I don't really know her. I, we only met because I'd broken a B law. It's not like, you know, we had tea. It was more of a sit-in-judgment-of-me kind of thing. The threat of execution was somewhat in the air. So, you're saying no? Um, okay, so anyway, there I was, living the life of a pollen jock. How would you please? Out of town again? Remember, don't forget to spend your nectar drops. You don't collect these for nothing. They can be used to buy a plethora of sweet stuff. New clothes, new cars, and oh boy, video games. Attention, a new Hunnix job station has just been installed in your neck. Pray, Sheik. Squadron B-10 is on standby for launch. Hey, buddy! Oh. Nectar Force on approach. Adventure thrill, still romance, all await you in your new career. Come by one of our new job kiosks and give it a try. Attention! A new Hunnix job station has just been installed in your neighborhood. Come by anytime! Hunnix cares about your well-being. Every year, Hunnix scientists continue to push the boundaries of honey and technology. These advancements make honey safer to make and safer to eat. Be a part of our golden future. The Hunnix Corporation, a division of Hunnexco. Tired of your old, boring way of life? New job kiosks have just arrived, courtesy of the Hunnix Corporation. A new adventure awaits you! At Hunnix, we recognize that honey is the water of life to New Hive City. If you have the right skills, you can be the one who directs those waters for shipping and storage. Do a good job and you'll be rewarded. Hey, you've got a honey drafter job pending. On to adventure! All right, let's get it on. This one is a bit trickier than the others. The goal here is to make sure that no honey container goes unfilled. We are on a tight schedule and the containers will only stay open for a short time. Let too many get past and you won't get paid. Press up or down to move the honey hose along the production line. Press left or right to rotate the hose in the desired direction. Once you're aligned with an empty container, you can fill it up. Watch your honey meter closely. It's at the bottom right corner of the screen. If you run out of honey, you can refill the hose by going to the production line. Now, don't go pouring honey in a container that's already full. You can't be fuller than full, so don't. Got it? It's up, down, switch, and turn. Pour the honey in empty containers and let the ones already filled go happily wherever they're heading and we'll be fine. Do you want me to repeat my instructions?
It's crane time. You've got a job waiting for you. Then off we go into a bold new career adventure. Every little bit helps. You're doing great. You got it. Hey, you've got a crane operator job pending. Then here we go! Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime! You're doing great! That's it! Keep going! That's one! Great! That should get us closer to the quota. Attention! The flower patch has been taken by a swarm of dragonflies. All pollen jocks report to J-Gate for immediate launch. Hunnex cares about your well-being. Every year, Hunnex scientists continue to push the boundaries of honey and technology. These advancements make honey safer to make and safer to eat. Be a part of our golden future. The Hunnex Corporation, a division of Hunesco. Check out the new game in the arcade! Attention! The flower patch has been taken by a swarm of dragonflies. All pollen jocks report to J-Gate for immediate launch.
Hey, citizen, you've got taxi jobs galore. Better see what you can finish. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Woo! Thanks for coming. You drive like a champ. Champ. I am going to complain. I. Oh. Just as soon as the dizziness wears off. Chalk one up for the little guy. You've got a tax. Goodbye and good luck. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come and see the new job. Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Okay, you're ready to go. You were made for this kind of work. Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Excellent, you won't regret this. Bye. 
Excellent work. Every win brings us closer. Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Yes, sir. A tremendous growth opportunity. An excellent choice. Excellent work. Every win brings us closer. Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Got it! Honey stock prices have shot up today in the face of record honey earnings this quarter.
I'm here with Barry B. Benson, the bee who sued the humans for stealing our honey. Do you like the law, Barry? I do. For a bee, if you want justice, you usually have to sting someone. What about Mr. Montgomery? What was he like? Oh, him? He's the worst. A sleazeburger of the first order. Why do you say that? Because of all the rotten things he was into. You know, many people know about the honey crisis, but not everyone knows about the actual conspiracy at work behind it. Did you say conspiracy? I said conspiracy. Oh, sure, it wasn't enough that the humans were stealing all of our honey. They were up to something much worse, and Montgomery was at the soft, chewy center of it. That's why I needed to find proof. Really? Well, this is the kind of serious, hard-nosed journalism that I was born to report. What was that? Nothing. Where was I? Heinous conspiracy of epic proportions. I, I didn't say that, exactly. Please, Barry, go on. Tell us more. There he is. Ready, Adam? Giles, take me to La Couchon. I'm hungry. And take the long way. I have to place a call. Yes, sir. Ready? Hey, hey wait. Barry? Ready! But... Go! Um... Man, I don't care how much it costs. Just buy it. Don't not stock you fool. Money. It's a beautiful day in the city. Thank you for joining us on Adventure Tours and Sightseeing, where every trip is an adventure. And on the top deck, you'll see a me. Oh, me! Nice try. Whoa! Nice try. Nice try. Oh no! Nice try. I am good. Come on, hang on! Nice try. Yeah. Whoa! Nice try.
Say, you're in good shape. You don't even look winded. Barry, I was trying to tell you. La Couchon was just down the street. I walked here. Oh, I... I... That must have been some call. You went all over. So what's the plan? Right. Montgomery went into that restaurant. I'll take the front, you take the back. And then we jump him. No, we spy on him. Be a fly on the wall, get it? Yeah. Wait. I hate flies. Come on. I'm inside. Great. Now I just need to get past Mr. Personality and through a door in the lobby. Is it locked? In this place, probably. But I think I know who can get me in. Yes, yes, I see. Yes. Good afternoon, La Cochon. No, we do not do take out. No. 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 No, no, no problem. No, no, no problem. No, no, no problem. My tip receiving hand. Gotcha. Adam, I made it through, and I see Montgomery's been seated. Uh, how do you know? I just took a picture of the reservation book. Are you kidding? You just took a picture of a reservation book? Come on, I'm investigating here. All right, all right. What's next? I'm moving up. Stand by. Okay, Adam, I see them. So, how are you going to get close enough to hear what they're saying without being spotted? Remember my uncle? The one who dated the cricket? No, the other one, remember? He always said, if you don't like the odds, kid, change the game. Oh, I get it. Wait, I don't get it. Simple. If we can't get close to Montgomery where he is, we'll find a way to make him move to a better spot. Hey, where are you, anyway? Cheese! What a disgusting saying. Wait up!
Monsieur Montgomery, uh, I, I do so apologize. Uh, that's quite all right. Please, uh, let me show messieurs to another table, uh, one that will be more to their liking. We're good, they've moved. Wow, it sounds louder there. What is that? Street noise. In fact, I'm gonna use it to get close to them. The noise should cover me. Stand by, go and stealth. Money, money. What's he buying with that much cash? Adam, hey, come in. I just took a picture of more clams than I've ever seen before. Oh, right. Uh, what do you think they charge for a seafood platter around here? No, I meant money. Oh, never mind. Meet me in the back section.
So tell me, how are things shaping up? Very well. We've recently had a breakthrough that I think you should see. Superb. Yes, sir, I am pleased to hear it. I told you this idea was of the blue ribbon variety, and if we play our cards right, you and I very soon we will be holding the keys to the honey kingdom. But what about the bee? <laughs> ah, yes, the bee. Well, I wouldn't fret none too much about him. I think between this case and what we have in store, our Mr. Benson and all of his kind are about to come down with a bad case of the hives, as it were. But how can you be sure? Firstly, I'll tell you right now that with what I have in my office, I can bring this case to a close before it even becomes a problem for us. Yes, sir. As for the rest, let's just say that I have a sense about these things. I assume it's in a secure location. My dear fellow, what do you take me for? It's in my safe in my most inner of inner sanctums. Only two of my most trusted partners in my office and I share the three different pieces of the access code, which constantly scrambles. They have to use their computers to get it each time. So, I know every move they make. Now, why don't you just leave it all to me? Adam, do you read? Usually a few chapters before bed. It helps me fall asleep. Oh. Listen, I'm on to something. We're out of here. Raindrops keep falling on my head.
people try carpooling? What kept you? Traffic was murdered. I mean, the traffic actually tried to murder me. I have to get in there. Barry, they're looking for you. I can maybe take care of the receptionist, but you're gonna have to find your own way in. And what is with that costume? It's my disguise. Cunning, don't you think? Uh, Barry? It's a fly. 
I know, it's perfect. Let's go. Okay, so let me get this straight. To find the access codes, I've got to get into their computers? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I thought I told you to never call me at the office. Oh, what? Uh, oh, but I thought that... Uh, Just kidding. What's up? I was thinking. You're already looking for these codes, right? Yeah. You may as well see what you find in their emails, too. Could be something good in there. Yeah, I like the way you think, pal. Thanks. Ow! Okay, gotta find those codes. Okay, gotta find those codes. Now all we need is the other two thirds of the code. Okay, gotta find those codes. Almost! Two down, one to go.
Okay, gotta find those codes. Now to crack that safe and this case. Note to self, make sure to pick up dry cleaning before six. Arrange a deposition for the Luco case. Oh, and make sure to clean the mortal remains of one Barry B. Benson out of my safe. It seems he was dumb enough to fall into my trap. Now, not only will he lose the case, but he's about to cash in his chips permanently. Oh, note to self. Don't forget eggs, milk, and honey. <laughs> so are we going to do this the easy way or the hard way? What's the easy way? Easy way is we beat you up, rip you to shreds, then feed what's left of you to the cat. Jeez, what's the hard way? Well, now you're talking about us getting mid-level on you. Mid-level? I think you mean medieval. He's he. Talking to me? Yeah, you, you do that good, boss. Are you talking to... Hey! There's no escape! Yes! <laughs> What's the matter? Show them what we're made of! Is there a lot of yellow in there? Because we could try daisies or daffodils. Just beautiful. Let me see it. Who did you say sent him these flowers? His wife. He's not married. Um, mother. You know what? I think I'll just surprise him. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, Barry, where were you? Your mother was so worried she tried to adopt me. Anyways, take a look at your mini-map. Looks like there are new job opportunities for you. You should check them out. Jobs, that's right. New jobs right here, right now. Take a look. J-Gate, Unit 10 is down. Queen's Guards to level 9. Hey, 
Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Then off we go into a bold new career adventure. That should get us closer to the quota. Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Yes, sir, a tremendous growth opportunity, an excellent choice. Ugh. <sighs> 
Thanks to you, we might beat our quota. Attention, citizens. Attention. Hornets have been spotted in the sky near New Hive City. All bees are to report to J-Gate for immediate launch. And here's today's traffic alert. Perfect! It's all moving perfectly today and every day, citizens. Attention, citizens. Attention! Hornets have been spotted in the sky near New Hive City. All bees are to report to J-Gate for immediate launch. Hey, I'm just now seeing some new jobs come in. Trust me, we've got more openings than Swiss cheese. Pollen jog ranks are showing a slight dip due to unusually heavy rain and dog numbers. More to follow. Attention, citizens. Attention. Hornets have been spotted in the sky near New Hive City. All bees are to report to J-Gate for immediate launch. It's crane time! You've got a job waiting for you! Then off we go into a bold new career adventure! Yikes! You're doing great! That 
that's the idea. Oh yeah, just keep it coming. Great, thanks to you, we might beat our quota. It's crane time. You've got a job waiting for you. On to adventure. Yeah, just keep it coming. Yahoo! Every little bit helps. Keep your eyes open. You've got a honey drafter job pending. Excellent. You won't regret this. for this kind of work. Hey, you've got a honey drafter job pending. On to adventure.
you've still got a hot date with a waffle iron and a tube, courtesy of Hunnex. Fame and fortune awaits. Every little bit helps. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. You're doing great! That's it! Keep going! That's one! Excellent work! Every win brings us closer! You've still got a hot date with a waffle iron and a tube, courtesy of Hunnex! Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a life. Oh yeah, just keep it coming. You're doing great! That's one! Good job! That'll help our quota! You're doing great! Keep your eyes open! That'll help our quota. Hey, you're getting the hang of it. That's it. Keep going.
that's what you've got it. What you doing? Very Benson, aren't you? We've got honeycombs to collect, and you've still got a job to do. You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. I heard about you. Uh... Getting it. Good job. That'll help our quota. You got it now. You're getting the hang of it. That's one. You've got it now. You're doing great! That's it! Keep going! That's the idea! Got a honeycomb collector job pending. You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. You got it now. Yeah, just keep it coming. More, you're doing great.
that's the idea. Keep going! Keep going! You've got it now! Good job! That'll help our quota! Keep going! Good job! That'll help our quota! More! You're doing great! Doing great! Great! Keep going! Great! Honix is proud of you. Hey, you've got a honeycomb collector job pending. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Doing great! Keep your eyes open! Keep going! More! You're doing great! That's it! Keep going! You're doing great! That's one!
That's it. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. You're getting the hang of it. You're doing great! Whoa there! We're way off quota now! Smooth work! You've still got a hot date with a waffle iron and a tube! Courtesy of Hunnex. Okay, you're ready to go. Wow, that was bad. Crazy driver! Hey, I'm walking here! about your well-being. Every year, Hanex scientists continue to push the boundaries of honey and technology. These advancements make honey safer to make and safer to eat. Be a part of our golden future. The Hanex Corporation, a division of Hanesco. Check out the new game in the arcade! I'm Jeanette Chung. Join me as I talk with Barry B. Benson. Tonight, he'll reveal the inside scoop behind the honey crisis. All the action, the intrigue, the lawless abandon. Tonight, I bring you the inside story behind the inside story. Right here, right now, I'm Jeanette Chung. And we're back. Barry, I... What was that? What? All that conspiracy stuff? Kind of over the top, isn't it? I mean, lawless, abandoned? It's about ratings, Barry. But I didn't even mention that stuff until tonight. Where, where would you get the footage? It's the magic of television. Anyway, back to your story. Barry, for the average lay bee, explain what legal issues were at play here. Well, the thing with humans is they have a lot, and I mean a lot, of laws. Bees only have six laws. Seven if you count no honey on Saturdays. Most bees don't. Only orthodox bees. Right. So there's a lot of legal red tape to get through. You mean that tape that humans hang from ceilings to catch bees and kill them? I mean metaphoric red tape, although that other stuff is diabolical. So, what happened next? Well, while the trial started to heat up, things really began to cook with my investigation. Conspiracy! Yes. Please go on. Oh, boy.
All right, so this is where humans keep their food. We're here to collect evidence. Why so many boxes? How many different kinds of food can they have? What the heck are cookies? There are a thousand different flavors. For humans, variety is the spice of life. I thought honey was the spice of life. For bees it is. If you're human, it's variety and something called paprika. Let's split up. You go this way, I'll go that way. Wrong side! Honey shampoo? No more tears, my eye. Santa Maria! Hello? Yeah, it's me, Hector. I'm at the supermarket. The bee is here. See, the one from the trial. What do I do? Calm yourself, man. You gotta learn to keep your head. I'm through messing around with this bee. I'm sending over the big guns. Remember, move quietly. Stay in the shadows. The element of surprise is our greatest weapon. All we have to do is... Hey, B! You're in big trouble now! My boss just sent the leanest and meanest to mess you up! I better think of something. No way am I gonna let them stop me from finding that evidence! Failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. Nice try. The bee must be contained. Flank the bee's position. Smile, bee. You're on camera. No one loves honey more than I do, but even I don't rub it all over myself. It's got honey and a toy inside? That's gonna be sticky. The mission will be completed. Smile, Bee! You're on camera! Failure is not an option. Other side. We never fail. Nice try. The bee must be contained. I hope the men with no eyes don't catch you, bee. I almost can't wait to cross swords with you again, amigo.
Stay alert. Watch the wings. These spuds are duds. I hope the men with no eyes don't catch you, B. I almost can't wait to cross swords with you again, amigo. We never fail! I guess you can't spell steel without T-E-A. Smile, B. You're on camera. Failure is not an option. We gotta go back! Stay alert! Flank the beast position! Smile, B. You're on camera! Flank the beast position! Click! Hey, B! Say hello to your little friend. Barry, help! Adam, I'm coming! Okay, that's enough. Let's see just how much your friend likes you. Seven! It's a nice picture. That's about all she wrote, B. You better hurry. Failure is not an option. Barry! Go to stealth mode. Adam, are you all right? I'm good. Uh, but I've got to tell you... Slow down. Breathe. Okay, stay put until I can find us a way out of here. Uh, Barry, I, I found it. I, I was using the scanner and I found it. What? Y you know how all roads lead to the hive? Well, there's something funny about these honey shipments. They're not coming in, they're going out. All to one place. And I found it. Hey, B, I think maybe I smell you. I think you need a shower. You know you can learn a whole lot from those nature shows on TV. For example, I just learned that bees cannot fly when they're wet. Stay here. I've got a score to settle. Out! Hey, buddy, it's me again. I wish I could go out there with you more often, but since that last incident at the supermarket, my enthusiasm is all but sold out. Looks like you have a handful of jobs now. Bet your employers are expecting you. Shouldn't you pay them a visit? Ding! You've got jobs! Remember, citizens, black and yellow is the new black and yellow this year. Don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Excellent. You won't regret this.
Excellent work! Will anyone who has parked the taxi... Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do! Then here we go! Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime! Thank <laughs> you. 
Great! That should get us closer to the quota. Hey, don't forget about the mechanics job you still have to do. Fame and fortune awaits.
Stellar job! Hey, I'm just now seeing some new jobs come in. Trust me, we've got more openings than Swiss cheese. Adventure, thrill, spill, romance, all the way to you in your new career. Come by one of our new job kiosks and give it a try. You've got a racing job on standby. You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. Go, go, go! Oh, the suspense! That was a gutsy move. He's in a tough scrape. Yikes. Nice. Oh, what a move. Oh, what a move. Great move. Great move! He's in a tough scrape! Oh, the suspense! What a move! Nice move! Great move! Congratulations! That's what it's all about! Just to let you know, you've still got a race outstanding. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Go, go, go! Nice! Great move! Oh, the suspense! Oh, the suspense! That was a gutsy move! Nice! He's in a tough scrape! Excellent job, citizen. Hey, I'm just now... Just to let you know, you've still got a race outstanding. Excellent. You won't regret this. Better get it right, otherwise it's off to the honey mines with you. Oh, just kidding. That was a gutsy move.
Oh, the suspense! Nice! You're in the groove now! Attention citizens of New Hive City, tired of that same old job? Explore a golden land of opportunity and adventure with Hunnix. Visit one of our new job kiosks today. Ken, 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 hey, Ken, baby, this way, smile. Oh, Ken, right over here. Oh, you look so fabulous. Get away from me, you jackals, go away. Don't make me go Pompeii on your keisters. So, Barry, where does Ken fit into the picture? You know, he doesn't really. He was a very minor figure, hardly worth mentioning. I mean, I have trouble even remembering his name sometimes. Was it Ben or Len or something like that? Oh, no, is it him? I'm sorry, Ken. No, not the Italian mom. Mommy! That was just a little hive quake. I knew that. We would do for one. You, Ken, and Vanessa. So, was it... A love triangle? Uh, no, I'm a bee and she's a human. Ken's a human. Barely. No triangle, then. How about a rhombus? Maybe a trapezoid? Can we change the subject? What's the matter, Barry? All this talk of a love triangle got you... bent out of shape? <laughs> triangle? Shape? Huh? How about that, Hal? Tell me you got that on camera. That was going on the Emmy reel. Did everyone see how I made a winnie? Do you think I don't see what you're up to? I'm sorry? You're trying to steal my girl. Whoa, dude, just hanging out. What's that in your hand? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life any more valuable than mine? Well, that's exactly what I'm remembering. Nice try. Nice try. Settle this over a drink. Oh, sure. This one's on me.
Better luck next time. Ah! Nice try. Oh. Oh. Oh no, liquid net with firma hold. A favorite of old ladies everywhere. That's right, B. And you're about to have a bad hair day. Ow, ow, ow. You know, you'll never be totally evolved if you keep ow. going on like this, Ken. Better luck next time. Watch the wings. Oh. Ken, what do you think Van would say about this right now, huh? Watch the wings! Ken, what are you doing? Um, nothing. You are in big trouble, mister. I bet you'll become quite popular now that the trial has started. Couldn't help it, did you? Well, remember, there's still quite a lot to do around here even if you become a superstar. Complete enough missions, and you'll get a chance to go home and take a break. But ding You've got jobs! For those of you who wish to relive the pain, please select a level you'd like to replay. Damage control. We have a crash at J Gate. Unit 10 is down. You've still got some orders to fill, citizen!
Excellent. You won't regret this. Congratulations! Attention, our beloved hive is being attacked by a swarm of wasps. All pollen jocks report to J-Gate for immediate launch. You've got a delivery run on standby, kid. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. Hurry up, friend. You don't have time.
Excellent job, citizen. Food out, cash in. Weather inside the hive today is expected to be the usual optimum golden color with showers of honey late in the day. Get out of the way! Attention, citizens of New Hive City. Don't forget about the delivery job you've already got on standby, ready to go whenever you are. Go, go, go! You're getting the hang of it now. Did you know the average hive produces approximately two cups of honey each year? We here at Honex think we can do better. Now get out there and get the job done, citizen. Good job! Another day, another delivery! Hey, you've got a honey drafter job pending! Go, go, go! Got a honey drafter job pending. Go, go! That hurt right in the quota.
Excellent work. Every win. Hey, you've got a honey drafter job pending. On to adventure. <laughs> Very good work. You've got skin. Hey, you've got a honey drafter job pending. All right. Excellent work! is approximately two cups of honey each year. We here at Hunnex think we can do better. Now get out there and get the job done, citizen. Excuse me? Can we get back to the story, please? I was just about to get to the good part. Good part? I'm all ears. Okay, have you ever heard of Operation Burr Spur? Burr Spur? Burr Spur. No. Well, I'm not surprised. Burr Spur was the code name for the plot that Montgomery was actually hatching during the honey crisis. With a name like Burr Spur? It's ridiculous. Let's take some callers. 
We'll see who else knows about this so-called operation, Burr Spur. Call our toll-free number, 1-800- Wait a second, don't take callers now. Look, if you start taking callers, I'm not going to tell you about Burr Spur. Barry, I am a truth seeker. And as a truth seeker, I want my audience to know all the facts. For example, you were a cocoon wetter growing up, were you not? Hey, how did you... Hi, Barry! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Chung, for having us on the show. We're very proud of Barry. That's my son there. You know, he was going to be a stirrer like his old man. Oh, stop it! You're embarrassing him! He was never going to be a stirrer! You don't have any friends, do you? Not a one. Okay, I'll tell you about Burspur. Is that the latest on Operation BRSPR? Burspur? Yes, sir. Are you making a joke? No, sir. It is Burspur. Well, keep that under lock and key. And laser. Laser? Remember, no honey is allowed in or out of this facility. No exceptions. Nice try. We have a red light in room 11. Maintenance teams, respond. Identifying Super Brat Code. We have a red light in room 11. Maintenance teams, respond.
Identifying fingerprint. Gotcha. How do I get these trays to open again? How do I get these trays to open again? We need more power for conversion. Watch the wings! Identifying retinal match. Access granted. What's that smell? It smells delicious. Why, it's honey. Oh, how I've missed a taste of the good stuff. Now, one lick won't hurt anyone. <laughs> mm. <sighs> ah, it's awful. It looks just like honey, but it tastes like. Brussels sprouts! Operation Burst Burr! Burst Burr! Brussels sprouts! Yuck, I gotta get that taste of Brussels sprouts out of my mouth. Well, well, well. Looky here, guys. It's our little bee boy. Come home to roost. <laughs> yeah, roost. First of all, bees don't roost. Second, is this really the best work you could come up with? And third, do any of you have any minty gum? I can't get the Brussels sprouts taste out of my mouth. Yeah, that's a big boss's plan. Don Montgomery is going to turn the entire world's supply of honey into that stuff. It looks like honey, feels like honey, smells like honey, <laughs> tastes like Brussels sprouts. Oh, the horror, the horror. That includes the stuff you bees have, too. With the stockpiles he has underground, he'll corner the market. Everyone will have to come to him. He'll be the wealthiest man in the world. Yeah, and what do you hornets get out of the deal? What else? All the candy we can carry. Hmm. Enough to become kings ourselves. He keeps it all in his special briefcase. Really generous of you guys to tell me what's going on here. I suppose now is where you say, but you'll never get out of here to use that information, right? Yeah, something like that. It's nothing personal, you understand. It's just something that we wanted to do. It wouldn't look right otherwise. Thanks for understanding. Get him, boys! What's the matter? Show them what we're made of! The grid is down 15%. We need more power for conversion. So long, sucker! <laughs> Wait. So, Barry, what did you do then? Well, Jeanette, I did what any other red-blooded American bee would do when facing a threat like this. I shared the wealth. Mmm, -hmm. honey, 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 I love you. Very soon, thanks to you, I will be a wealthy 
wealthy man. What? What? No! No! You're not Brussels sprouts! No! No! Bad Our hero has returned. Ding! You've got jobs. Pollen jock ranks are showing a slight dip due to unusually heavy rain and dog numbers. More to follow. <laughs> Operations to level one. You've still got some orders to fill, citizen! Okay, you're ready to go! You know, you're taking up valuable walking space here. in the groove now. Good job. Another day, another delivery. Traffic flows at peak level. Cars jumping at 70%. Don't forget about the delivery job you've already got on standby, ready to go whenever you are. Then off we go into a bold new career adventure. was amazing! You made it! Hot food! Hey, I'm just now seeing some new jobs come in! Trust me, we've got more openings than Swiss cheese! Whoa! Watch it, pal! You've got a delivery run on standby, kid! Go, go, go!
Did you know the average hive produces approximately two cups of honey each year? We here at Honex think we can do better. Now get out there and get the job done, citizen. Great job, you've got a real future on the road. Food out, cash in. You've still got some honeycombs to collect, citizen. Good luck to you in your new job. Goodbye. We've got nectar to collect, and you've still got a job to do! Then off we go into a bold new career adventure! Good job! 
up. That'll help our quota. That's the idea. You're doing great! Yahoo! Every little bit helps! Excellent work! Every win brings... Hey, you've got a crane operator job pending! On to adventure! Good job! That'll help our quota! That's the idea! You're doing great! get us close. You've still got a date with a crane, pal, courtesy of Hunnix. Fame and fortune awaits. What's happening? Our quota's dropping like a rock out there. We might... Hey, you've got a crane operator job pending. Then here we go. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime.
that'll help our quota. Yahoo! Every little bit helps. That's one. That'll help our quota. Oh, yeah, just keep it coming. Okay, we're in trouble. Our quota's dropping like a rock out there! Great! That should get us close. It's crane time! You've got a job waiting for you! Go, go, go! Yeah, just keep it coming. Great, keep going. Good job! That'll help our quota! Good job! That'll help our quota! You're getting it! Oh yeah! Just keep it coming! Keep your eyes open! Oops! Okay, we're in trouble. Good job! That'll help our quota. Excellent work! Every win brings us closer!
Did you know the average hive produces approximately two cups of honey each year? We here at Hunex think we can do better. Now get out there and get the job done, citizen. How many spoonfuls of honey do I like in my tea? <coughs> Three. Exactly. Now you'll know for next time. Psst. Jeanette, we're on the air. What? We are on the air. Oh. So, Barry, how did it feel to defeat the humans? Well, I didn't defeat the humans. What did I really do? Well, I won a small legal victory against them, resulting in a multi-billion dollar judgment bankrupting their honey industry and restoring bees to their rightful place at the top of the honey chain. Interesting. Let me throw the question open. Adam, how did it feel? Um, hello? Hi, pal. Adam, how did it feel to go up against Mr. Montgomery? Uh, awkward. I have to go now. Okay. So, Barry, any regrets? Well, aside from winning the case and nearly destroying the Earth, uh, not that I can think of, no. But, you know, it didn't stop there. Afterwards, there was a whole media frenzy thing, and that was tough. Well, Barry, it takes a certain kind of person to deal with fame and the demands of the media. The struggles of on-camera life, the constant interviews, the need to always look absolutely stunning. Oh, it takes a lot out of you. Uh, actually, I was just talking about the... You know, let me just show you. Come on, all the way in, and we're flying, we're flying. So, tell us more, Barry. Yeah, Barry, tell us how you felt during the trial. What? Oh, sure. Ladies and drones of the press, this, in the human world, is a court of law. And in this court, all beings are created equal and entitled to be heard. And that's exactly what I did. I stood right here and calmly, eloquently presented our case. Your Honor, I object on account that Mr. Benson is a no-good, a no-account insect who sought to dig up all sorts of so-called evidence and put to harm and ruin all of the plans for domination which I so craftily formulated and handed down, not to mention making a mockery of this court and our sacred judicial system. I therefore move for a mistrial. You can't move for a mistrial. We won fair and square. Besides, the court's not in session. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Any calm and eloquent last words now, Benson? Yes. Run! I mean, fly! I hold you all in contempt. You're going down, Monty. You're going down, Monty.
Watch the wings! Better luck next time. <laughs> Guys, little help here! Too bad the scales of justice aren't in your favor this time, B. Guys, come on, we're all in this together! If we let this guy win, what does that say about us as a species? Are we bees, or are we keychains? Keychains! No, we're bees! Hey, he's right. We are bees. Right! Come on! Let's get him! Except you, keychain guy! Isn't so tough. It's over, Montgomery. Your ruling is overturned. It started with honey, but it nearly wiped out the entire world. Could it happen again? The answer might shock you. Watch as I wrap up the fascinating interview with Barry B. Benson tonight. I am Jeanette Chung. Hi, Barry. Listen, my producer insists that I ask you this silly question. I apologize in advance, but don't worry, it's a softball. I'm here to answer any and all questions, Jeanette. Fire away. Good. Were you aware of the delicate balance in the ecosystem between bees, flowers, and humans when you went on your selfish, foolhardy crusade? <laughs> wow, you're not kidding around, are you? Okay, so I made a few mistakes. But there is a bright side, you know. Oh? How so, Mr. Doom? 
Well, I think everybody learned how important they are, not just to the hive, but to the world around us. The truth is, from pollen jock to factory drone, every bee is a queen. I mean, not like... I mean, you know what I mean. We're, we're all uh, special. I see. So with the honey case wrapped up, the conspiracy foiled, Montgomery brought to justice and the world restored, what's next for Barry B. Benson? You know what I meant before, right? I mean, I, I wasn't saying that I could be the queen. I got it. So what's next? Maybe acting? Nah, I'm not much of an actor. I mean, I'm good with a funny line, but I, I don't think I could play real emotion. Any last words for the audience, Barry? Just that this has all really been an adventure for me, and it's what I wish for everyone, be or human. May your life always be an adventure. A wish for adventure from a bee who's had quite an adventure himself. We'll now take you out live with Barry and the Pollen Jocks restoring the world. What? Live? That's amazing. Oh, wait, this is where we do the reenactment, isn't it? You're catching on. So much for the magic of television. You've been watching New Hive Tonight. You could have wrapped it up by singing on a piano. We need to save these flowers. I may have made a mistake, but now I'm going to fix it, even if I have to pollinate every flower in this park by myself. Now who's with me? We are! Let's do it!
Thanks, team. Add one more to the countdown next time, Hal. I need 11, understand? And Sally, it's two honeys in my latte, sweetie. And anyone else I don't fire tonight, I'll see you bright and early. Ta-ta!